Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a gaming mechanical keyboard by a company called Gamdias. This is the Hermes 7 color gaming mechanical keyboard. It has a lot of functionality, premium feel and premium design, very nice switches that are built into it. Also a lighting effect that you can actually customize with all, everything is just done directly on the keyboard. There's no software required. Plug it into the PC and start gaming. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out this Gamdias Hermes 7 color mechanical keyboard. Here's the keyboard's box. Uh, you can see a picture of the keyboard right now with all things lit. Very, very nice. Um, this is a neon lit spectrum light, which means seven color backlit. Every row has a separate color and it does actually cycle through them depending on the theme or the scheme that you actually set up for. The main thing you wanna make sure that you're aware of is that you can't change the keys individually as they're not neon light. We do have an elegant metal uh, plate added to for durability and that's intended in the middle to give it more durability and everything is mounted to it. The keyboard itself, I've had this before obviously, um, is definitely a very, it has a weight to it. It's not super heavy, but you can definitely feel that there is a metal plate in there as far as weight and it feels very durable. Of course, we have 14 set, uh, sets of light effects and then those are the things you can cycle through between all the way from one to nine and then the ability to customize some of the other ones that we have here. And of course, we can. I'll show you guys all with the hands-on. Last but not least, we do have gaming certified mechanical switches and these are as close to Cherry MX switches as you can get. Very nice, very good travel on these things. This is model number JK83, sorry, JKB3000. This is the mechanical keyboard uh, version. We have uh, multimedia shortcut keys, of course, where they're on the top. We have arrow keys exchange, custom uh, pattern edit mode, which are the first five options here. You can customize them. Five custom pattern shortcut keys, which I mentioned to you. Nine preset light effects, which are the ones that go over here and on this side. 11 speed adjustment levels, which we can control between the page up and page down using the function key over here. Consecutive attack mode, which we have the ability of turning on by turning on the game mode and consecutive attack. This is very, very nice for first person shooters. If you're in the mode and you're just going in there and going to just want to destroy everything, definitely go in there. Um, and that's right there. You can see that the, the logo is right there. It should be number seven. It tells you this is a consecutive attack. And then they actually have little bullets on there, which is very, very nice. And of course, the ability to reset the key by going directly into function and holding down the page, uh, the page up or the page lock. And then you'll be able to reset everything to factory and then recustomize things in case something goes wrong. Compatibility, it needs a USB uh, connection. It does not work with any other power or source. And it does work with this XP, Vista, 7, 8, and Windows 10, of course, no, no, no Mac support at this point. Here, when we open up the box, we're greeted with the instruction manual that just gives us more information. Don't lose this page. This will explain to you all the different shortcuts, all the different functions that you can do on the keyboard an extremely well designed keyboard black scheme uh, the lip is not removable and i'm going to go ahead and connect this to my pc but i want it to kind of you can feel here that the plastic is right here on the lip um, this is not removable unfortunately uh, and then the keys you know you know very very nice very responsive um, the keys do feel like they're already on a slant i'm going to turn on the risers here uh, even though when it's sitting uh, straight down you do have somewhat of a slant they're not flat and it doesn't actually have that little concave feeling it's straight up and that's how the feeling is and then very nice switches all the keys are lit non led these are you know neon lights essentially they're preset as far as colors and i'll show it to you guys right now let's go ahead and hook it up to the pc but real quick last thing i want to show you guys is the back uh, we have the non-slip grips here and then we do have them on the back of these risers and when you flip them over the risers have them as well and of course we have the game yes logo and everything nothing is removable there's no cable management here unfortunately uh, the colors here that we're getting are basically neon lights built in within the keys and these are the cherry mx light -like, uh, switches so you're getting that very nice responsive the sound the, the keyboard everything travel on them is very good and you know for sure that you're actually selecting a button uh, but again, you can't change the colors. Every row has its own color. So you go to pink here, orange, and then it'll go into red at the bottom and it'll start up again at the top. Uh, we do have uh, different ways of customizing the colors on this keyboard and you don't need drivers again, as I mentioned. So function here, here's first one, second one, third one, I didn't customize that one, fourth one, and then fifth one. And then you notice these are gaming setups. So these are the, all the gaming buttons, you know, the W, R, T, I, control, and then of course the space bar, and then the W, S, D, A, of course, and then firing. Depending on your game, you can customize these keys and of course all the function keys here. Uh, but you can go into just a lighting effect. So we have, the first one is the snake one I was showing you in the beginning. And this again goes around. You can customize the speed and the color. So if I go here with eight, 
that'll make it as the brightest level and if I go lower here on two it goes down dimmer and dimmer and dimmer uh, of course I can go faster this is the speed as you notice it's very very fast and I can slow it down even down to just basically make it into a nice little snake effect uh, I like to keep it here in the medium next lighting effect that we have here let's go ahead and switch over to this one here is more of a breathing effect and you'll notice that all the lights are on it has just keeps breathing I can go back again increase the breathing effect you'll notice it breathes a lot faster and then slow it slow it down and then I can dim 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 We'll go to the next lighting effect here and this I think by far is one of my favorite. It's, it just has that wave effect and I like to usually do it with the here with the taps. I do one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, ta -da. It just goes crazy with the keyboard, especially if you're playing a game, this just will go really, really crazy and then I really like this one. Uh, the next lighting effect that we have here will go is this is uh, it's slightly different, I guess. It's different than the snake that we're going. You notice it just kind of spirals into the center where the other one was going all up and down, up and down. And you can still customize the color on it. And we'll go back here. Now we go into individual keyboard lighting. So you notice if I say, you know, it lights them up, leaves them on for a second, and then they go away. Of course, you can control the speed on these things and then move forward from there. Uh, I'll go to the next lighting effect. This is again more of a trippy, wavy look, and it'll just keep going. And of course, we can control the speed, just have it go faster or slower, and brightness as well. And then we'll go here one more time. Now you'll notice here it has that whole waving effect, it does it on its own. And then, you know, as you're typing, it doesn't actually respond to your own color cues. So it just keeps doing that wave effect, and you can control, of course. This is the, another form of waving effect, and it just keeps going, going, and going. It's, it's very, very nice. Here, you just either have on or all off. So again, you have the ability of customizing all these things directly on the keyboard. There's an option for a rapid fire on it. Again, if you want to turn on that shortcut. Overall, the keyboard functions very nicely. I like the fact that the setup is pretty much simple. You don't have to worry about installing drivers. You don't have to worry about doing anything to the PC other than just plugging it in and playing. Um, it's customizable directly on there. Again, a one-page sheet instruction. Very, very simple. You're not going to spend too much time trying to figure out how to play with this keyboard. Uh, the reality is, I think it's really nice. It's a premium keyboard. It doesn't come with a mouse, so they do have other options as far as combo where it is the keyboard and the mouse. This is pretty much just the, mouse, uh, the keyboard that comes in the box. So you have the ability of customizing the, the themes of the color. You don't have the ability of customizing keys on the, by themselves as some of the other options that they have. Uh, but I think this is really more of the benefit to the keyboard itself. It's trying to be simple, but it also gives you some flexibility. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is definitely one of my favorite ones, the Hermes 7 Color Mechanical Gaming Keyboard from uh, Gambius. I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to check it out. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below as far as this keyboard or the last one that I reviewed from Gambius that was the one that was a kind of a keyboard and mouse combo. That's a little bit less as far as price, but uh, you needed a PC, you needed to have actually the, uh, the Hera software installed to customize it and get all the functionality. Here, you just open up the box and plug it in. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.